Okay, so this is the FET waves on a string. FETs are simulations that allow us to see um, a perfect scenario of a particular simulation that we're trying to use. And we know in the real world, if we were using like a beaded chain, it's not a perfect scenario. So it's a little bit more difficult than it would be if it was a perfect scenario like we can see on a FET. All right, so we're going to set ours up like our instructions tell us to do. So it says on the left side, select oscillate. So right here, you need to select oscillate. Then on the right side, it says click no end. So no end, you should see a picture come up right here. Now, another thing I need you to do is click the ruler because you will need a ruler. So also click ruler. And then I also need you to click slow motion because it makes it so much easier to measure. All right, so we are going to be working with frequency and wavelength today. And we know that wavelength is from crest to crest. So the first part of the lab tells us to put our frequency on one hertz. So we're gonna bring our frequency down to one hertz and we're gonna click start. And we're gonna give it just a second so it will start making these waves with a frequency of one hertz. Now, when it comes back up to the top, we're going to pause it. And we can see that we have a crest here, and then it goes down to a trough, and then it comes to another crest. So we're going to measure the wavelength, which is from zero to the next crest, which is right here. Now we have to figure out our scale. So we've got five, then we've got four tick marks, and then six. So that means we're going to go by two. So two, four, six, eight, and then six. So five, and then our crest top is gonna to be right here. So that's 5.4. So that's our wavelength, 5.4. Now make sure that you have units. So we're using centimeters as our units. On the next one, our frequency is 1.25. So we're gonna bring our frequency up to 1.25. We're gonna click start. We're going to give it a second because we know that our frequency is going to have to pick up speed a little bit. Once it's really starting to go, we're going to click pause and we're going to see we've got a new crest to our new crest. So we've got a new crest right here, which is about 4.5, so 4.5 centimeters. We're going to do our next frequency, which is 5.1. So we're going to go up to 5.1, we're going to start it, we're going to let it oscillate for just a second, and then we're going to pause it, and we're going to say our new crest to crest, so our new wavelength is around 3.9. So you're going to keep doing this for all of the different frequencies until you get to the very end. Then when you get to the end, you're going to answer the question, what can you say about the relationship between frequency and wavelength? Is your answer different than before on number five of the previous page? So this was when you were just hypothesizing about the relationship between wavelength and frequency. So I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to allow you to finish up the, the chart. And then I want you to answer number three. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to check it. So we have finished our data table. So we can see that we're increasing frequency as we go down. So we're increasing. And as we go down the data table for wavelength, the wavelength is decreasing, which means it's getting shorter. So that is going to be our answer for number three. So as we increase frequency, the wavelengths are getting shorter. So our hypothesis on our previous lab was the higher the frequency, the shorter the wavelength. The lower the frequency, the longer the wavelength.